The defense is making its case in the trial against the man accused of murdering Metro Police Officer Brianne Lee. They claim that he was having a psychotic episode at the time of that shooting. Our Rich Nye has been there in court covering every day of this trial. He joins us live from the Community Justice Campus tonight with the testimony of doctors who evaluated Elias Dorsey. Rich, what did they find? Felicia and Anne Marie, the jury wants the or the defense rather wants the jury to find Elias Dor Dorsey not responsible by reason of insanity for shooting through an apartment door and killing Officer Brianne Lee. That was back in 2020. Today was day five of testimony in the second week of this trial. Dorsey is charged with murder and four counts of attempted murder. Multiple doctors, three of them testified today that Dorsey has a small brain, a low IQ, brain injuries, and that he was having an acute psychotic disorder at the time of the shooting, April 9, 2020. A neuropsychologist who tested Dorsey for eight hours over two days says that Dorsey's mental illness started to show after he failed out of college and his longtime girlfriend broke up with him. And this increases his paranoia and his suspicions, and he becomes completely convinced that, again, he's going to be killed by somebody, and his family is going to be killed, and he warns people about this. Um, and uh, so these are the primary symptoms. These are made worse by COVID. Dr. Charles Golden says Dorsey shot in self-defense because in Dorsey's mind, it was the only way to survive from the paranoia of people trying to kill him. And right now the jury is in this courtroom watching a nearly two hour long video of Dorsey waiting in the interrogation room after the shooting to be interviewed by police. And tonight at six on 13 News, I'll show you what Dorsey was saying to himself. All right, Rich, thank you so much. And we've been covering this trial since it started last week. Rich has been on top of it, actually. He's going to keep covering it until the jury reaches a verdict. We're going to keep you updated on air and online through our WTHR News app or our website, WTHR.com.